Hey guys, welcome into my channel Everything PS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a 2D graphic in Photoshop and make it a 3D, and then you can import this into the Adobe Dimension, stay tuned. First, open Photoshop and go to Create New. And click on it. Now, enter the project name, for me, I will name it to convert 2D to 3D, and make this setting here like me if you want. Then, click Create. Now, go to get your logo and drag it and put it here. So let's go up to Windows we're going to need the 3D panel and the Properties panel. And when you go into this next step and make this a 3D objects Photoshop will often ask you if you like to switch to the 3D workspace, which is quite helpful, and we have that. Ok so without last selected let's go to 3D at the top. I am ok new 3D extrusion from selected laugh for the shoulder is staying, and then you go we can spin this round we have this 3D objects we got some controls on the topics that we can orbit rotates and pan around and look at it from different angles. Let's go to those panels, so we have the 3D panel here and the properties panel. I need the 3D one we get lots of different options there are so many different options here we can set different parts of the shape we can adjust lighting, I'm not gonna go too in depth without here essentially, whenever you selecting here becomes relevant for the properties panel so by default we get this the main thing we're going to focus on the discrete utoil, is the extrusion depths of a guy you can adjust how far there's extrude backward or forwards. I'm gonna keep this pretty light. And once you've created a 3D version of Europe 2D graphic, you can go up to 3D and down to export 3D layer. Now there's a number of different formats that Dimension support some of the most common 3D formats, ROBJ and SBX, which isn't listed here, but the one I've had the most success with is STL, so let's select base we can leave the sizes as I, because it's a 3D object, so we can scale it to any size without a loss in quality. Let's click OK. We need to specify a file name and location. So I'm gonna call this MD. And, hit save. Now, let's see the 3D logo. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.